Hey YouTube, Brian again, coming at you today with a video. Uh, just going to kind of do a walkthrough of my fish room, show you all the tanks. Uh, today we're going to start down in the basement instead of upstairs where we usually start. You can see we got some uh, umbies trying to work some stuff out here. There's war paint. Got a female in there, a little bigger than him. That's one that I've got on loan from uh, Mike Mann. Um, He's a general, or she is a general line female. Um, she's back here. Um, I had her in with Thorson down here before. I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, and um, they they weren't breeding. They weren't. Uh, they were getting along just fine. She was all blonded up, beautiful. But um, after like a month. Um, there was no interest in spawning at all, so I decided to switch things up, so I, uh, put her in here. Um, she's been in here with him for about a week, maybe a little more, and, um, they were getting along great. She was all blonded up, and I think he's starting to get a little pissed that, um, she doesn't want to spawn. It's the only thing I can figure out. So we're going to monitor these, and, uh... If I need to divide them again, I will. But in the meantime, I'm just enjoying this guy. Just freckled up to be awesome, man. She's she's a decent looking uh, girl here, too. Like I say, she's bigger than him. And uh, she just hasn't seemed to want to spawn with either of the two males that I'm kind of keeping here. I mean, he's ready to go, I think. So anyway, that's that tank. Uh, below it, we've still got the Holgas, my original two. Uh, they're divided now so that she can heal up. She is looking, she's almost back, uh, just a little bit in her uh, back fin. Back of her dorsal fin there is still got a little bit of damage. Um, but they're doing good other than that. I'm just going to keep them divided for a while and decide I may put her in with Triton and see what happens there. Because not a whole lot's been going on. These guys spawned twice. Um, but then she she always ate the eggs. Or I assume she did because on, on the day that they would typically have been due to hatch, they all disappeared always. Um... So that's what I can tell you about that. We'll go up over to Triton's tank now. Triton and Pandora are still not spawning. Looking like they want to all the time. A lot of glare here, I apologize, but uh, all these fish tanks facing different directions. Unless I turn off all the lights, that's the only way we're gonna... She's uh... She's taking some damage, and I'm to the point where I'm probably going to divide them again, too. He's got a little bit of fin damage as well. They play rough. But they get along. They, you know, I mean, look at, again, her tube is down, like always. Um, just can't get these guys to spawn to beat my life, so I don't know. But they're great fish. Um, not much else going on with them, I guess, at this point. There's a cool shot of the Pleco in this tank. Since it's out, I will film it. Still got one of these guys over here. Let's, uh, I'll feed these guys real quick. You can watch them eat. I feed them the large cichlid from Southern Delight. They love it. Just fed them like an hour ago, so they're probably not as hungry right now, but they usually come up to the top for it. Eh, 
they're not interested. And down below we've got more umbies. We've got Thorson. And uh, this female. This is Maggie. Um, she's been in and out of a few different tanks here, but now I put her in with him just last week. After three days of her being in the tank, they spawned. Um, but then the very next day she ate most of the eggs, and as of right now, yeah, they're all gone. They're, uh, there was a huge, um, huge clutch of eggs in there, and uh, so we'll see what happens. But she's she's a good-looking female too, and he's just really turned out to be something. I really really like this fish. Um, so we'll see if these guys can work it out. I'll, um, you know, I've had them together just for like a week, and there's been no, absolutely no problems, no aggression, nothing. Um, you know, they tested each other a little bit the first day, but otherwise they've just been living together well. So, so that's pretty cool. Just can't get a good shot of these guys here with all this glare. I'm sorry about that, but. Anyway, um, up here are what I've got left of the Umbi Grow Outs. Um, four of these are already spoken for, and um, you know the rest, other than just a couple that I've um, got in there but um, aren't intending to sell, um, the rest are available. So if you're looking to buy some Umbi's Grow Outs, uh, let me know. Um, got them from I don't know, three, three inch or so all the way up to six. Um, the bigger ones though are pretty much spoken for, but I definitely have some nice looking umbies in here, as you can see. Nice blue, blue freckles. So, yeah, that's what's going on there. Um, just some grow out and storage tanks here. The growth on Big Sexy's <laughs> just getting bigger and bigger, but he's still doing fine eating and everything. Um, these are some uh, Venusis grow outs. Um, my one Umbi that I got from James is back here again. He's back in this tank. Before I put Maggie in here with Thorson, I had put that Umbi in here to see. We're trying to figure out if she's a male or female, and um, I'm thinking it's actually a male, because when I put it in here, there was no attraction. She didn't color up like a female would, and Thorson ended up uh, kicking the crap out of it. So at this point, I'm going to go with male, but we'll see. Um, once he heals up, I'm going to grab a female out of here and put them together and see what happens in a different tank. Um, got some more grow outs, some Venusis grow outs here. Planted tank down below, just kind of the grow out tank. Got a bunch of Sunset Hygrophilia. Some Blixa. Got some Crips. Picked up this huge Amazon sword um, from my local fish store. Got some Anubius in there. It's the Amazon sword. I'm hoping to. Uh, get some daughter plants out of it so I can make those available but uh, nothing special here down below over here another grow out tank got some Rickia and guppy grass that's taken over there's some Blixa in there um, starting to grow out some Hydrocotyl SP Japan again um, I just had a little teeny strand of it left and so I decided I'll try to grow it out again and it's, it's coming along nicely uh, some Limnophila Aromatica that I'm looking to get rid of. If you're looking for any of that, let me know. Um, some AR Mini down here. Uh, Blixa's in here. A little bit of Rotala, Rotundifolia left. That's about it. Um, crystal Red Shrimp Tank up above. This is the soon to be four shrimp tanks, right now three. Um, these guys are uh, breeding, which is cool. And then the babies are growing pretty quick. Um, I just put some food in here like an hour ago and it's already gone. As soon as food drops in this tank, it just it just goes. Uh, they just attack it. Um, right next door are the carbon rillies. 
Um, oh, first time I've seen this, but I do have a shrimplet here, so it looks like we finally bred these successfully. Um, I was about to just say that I haven't had any breeding in here. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Right there on the piece of rock. So, good news there. Um, peacock moss going in this tank. Um, mini Christmas moss over here. Been selling a little of that lately. If you guys need any of that, let me know. I've got a little available, not a ton. We'll skip over that tank for a minute. This is the Red Rilly tank. I've got some more Red Rillies actually due to be delivered today. Um, there's one down there. A couple on the almond leaf here. So we'll see if we can't get to breeding them. I got a tank full of Java moss here too. If anyone's looking for Java moss, hit me up. Selling it for pretty cheap. And then uh, the Gorillas Black Umbies um, right here. Trying to get rid of these as well, so let me know if you're interested in them. There's eight of them. I'll just sell them all eight together if you're wanting them. Let me know. And then above, um, got the uh, Red Aslitas tank. This is the big male here. He's looking awesome. Um, no spawning activity yet in this tank. Um, I'm looking to thin the herd out here, so if you're looking for Red Aslitas. Boy, I sound like a freaking salesman here, but uh, I'm just looking to clear stuff out, a lot of stuff out in this fish room. So if you're looking, let me know. I've got, uh, I think I've got eight in this tank, and I will like to dwindle it down to about four for now, probably. So obviously not the bigger ones, but um, a pretty nice male coming up here, too. So. so let me know if you're interested in any of these. And then around the corner here, um, I finally pulled a divider on the Spectabilis, and it's amazing how the color changes. <laughs> oh, now they just change right on me, but um, they are getting along good. Uh, right away, he was a little rough on her. You can see on the upper door, on the on her dorsal fin, and there's a little nip. But otherwise, they they were. They were doing some head shaking, and they hang out in this pot together a lot, so I think that's positive. Pleco going away here. Um, so we'll keep our fingers crossed there and see what happens. And then down below, I've got still have three of the red devils left one pair and a female. And they are pretty much spoken for too, so these will be leaving the fish room real soon. But I brought these down here. Uh, you remember this used to be a um, tank where one of my uh, male hogas was, the one I call Pork Chop. I'll show you where he's at in a minute. Um, while we're down here too, I just want to quick show you guys. Um, last night I did some modifications here to the RO system. I added the 150 pound or 150 gallon upgrade kit. Um, and basically what that does is it allows you to make up to 150 gallons per day on the um, on the four stage value plus system instead of 75 and it uh, reduces the amount of wastewater being used um, and then I also added in another barrel so now I've got three 44 gallon brutes here and then a 20 gallon down below and what I've got how I've got this rigged up I put this valve on here so that um, I am skipping the um, the DI resin on the three main barrels because those are just uh, going to be for uh, fish tanks and then the only tanks that I really need to go through the DI would be my shrimp tanks so I've got it split so that um, so that uh, it can collect some water that runs through the, the DI chamber and uh, that'll be my shrimp barrel for when I do shrimp water changes but it worked out pretty good um, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of T's and valves here to get this all to work, but um, and then if you're kind of new to RO water or whatever, um, I've got these auto shut off valves in each tank so that when the water gets to a certain point, it shuts it off. I don't have to worry about that. But yeah, kind of an intimidating project for me to hook this up. 
Um, I'm just not good with things like this usually, but it, it went really easily and uh, I would recommend it to anybody if you're running RO water, get that upgrade kit, um, especially if you got a lot of tanks. So anyway, that's that. Um, let's go, oh, one other thing. New tanks set up here in the last couple of weeks. Uh, these are the F2 Midas grow outs. Looking nice. Uh, ten of these are spoken for right now, and then the rest I'm going to keep uh, until they're bigger um, and, and get a couple nice ones for myself, then sell off the rest. Down below in this 40, uh, 40 long, I've got some Red Devil grow outs. They're an inch and a half, some of them pushing two inches. Um, so I'm just growing those out for now, see what happens there. And we'll head upstairs. And here is where Pork Chop is now. He's in here with one of the Midas, the bigger Midas, the one that used to be in Triton's tank. Um, I'd wanted to, you know, I'd rescaped this tank with all that funky driftwood and stuff, and I liked it at first, and then it just wasn't doing it for me, I don't know why. I wanted a fish up here with a lot of personality. This guy's got the most personality probably in my fish room. Of course, as soon as I put him in here, um, he's lost a lot of personality just like he did when I first brought him home. But it's gonna come back. And then this is also the loach motel here too with all the clown loaches. So I'm looking forward to when he gets his, you know, gets a little feisty again and Stuff like that. Well, he is right now. This is the most, honestly, the most he's reacted to me since I put him up here a week ago. But this guy's awesome. Um, he's not as nice a fish as Triton and my other Holga, but he's just got a lot of personality and he's more active and he responds more to me. So kind of wanted that up in this room just because it'd be kind of cool to have kind of in the living room area. So that's what we're doing for now here. We'll see if he stays or um, if I bring something else up here. And for the final leg of the tour, we'll head into my office. Uh, this is the 150 gallon, as you can see, looks way different. Um, I rescaped it with some Oiko stones um, and then what I'm going to do is basically go with the same look as the 90 gallon, which is over here. An S Repens carpet, some AR Mini, the red plant, and then some Blixa Japonica. Um, keep it simple, that's, that's real low maintenance. So I'm just going to wait for the S Repens here to carpet. And I've got a bunch more of the AR Mini, uh, should be arriving today in the mail, to kind of fill in uh, between all the stones up here. And then the discus, I'm slowly getting rid of these, as you probably noticed, there's a few missing. I'm, I've got all these for sale, just locally though, I'm not going to ship discus. Um, because what I'm going to do in here is get uh, wild cots, probably just one strain of, uh, of some kind of a red wild cot. Probably six or eight of them, full grown, and, and, and then we're good. And then I took out the... Uh, Rummy nose, and I've got Harlequin Rasboras in here now. I just like the way they school and the way they look. I got about 50 of them. Probably going to add 20 to 30 more at least just to get a really nice um, tight pack. Usually they swim pretty tight. Right now they're kind of spread out, I think, because they think I'm about to feed them. And uh, in the 90, again, I added some additional Cardinals. Um, still have the same four discus in here at this point. Looking to add two more, but I'm just looking to um, find the right ones. And uh, the two will be the same type, so I have three, three of the same, or three, two, you know what I'm trying to say. Two of each, three species, three strains, whatever. This shrimp tank here, I just cleared out all the red cherries because today I've got some neon yellows arriving that are going to go in there. All the red cherries now are combined into one tank. Big swarm of them feeding here right now. Um, they're doing good. Taiwan moss is dying off in there, a lot of it, so I've got to get in there and uh, clip that. And the final tank is the five gallon. Um, 
blue pearl tank. Uh, they're eating on some food right here. I had to completely take down and restart this tank um, due to some, there's a really bad smell. I never was able to figure out what it was, but taking it down cured it. Um, and I think in the process I've lost some. It's just a, I just don't seem to see as many in here. Still got probably 30 of them in here though, but. So that's that guys. Um, thanks for uh, watching if you made it all the way to the end. Um, recently I hit 4,000 subscribers, so I want to thank you guys all for that. I really appreciate it. I never thought that I'd have that many people watching my videos and listen to me talk about nonsense. Um, but at any rate, it's really cool and I really like it. Um, make sure you go over to Aquatic Support Systems on Facebook. Aquatic Support Community, join that group. Fish Keepers Classifieds if you're looking to buy or sell fish. And then make sure you check out all the uh, um, links below to all the other Team Aquatic Support members and check out their YouTube channels. New member, um, John Connolly. Um, if you don't know John, um, great hobbyist. Um, just awesome tanks, awesome fish, and uh, you should check out his channel for sure. Uh, boost up his subscriber base. Um, that would be really cool. So, um, at any rate, thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, later. Thank <music> you.